now a check of the forecast now. It is a first alert weather day, Mayor. I see that radar is active, but how severe are we talking for the We're, weather today? Nothing too severe. So okay. we did have a few general thunderstorms popping up earlier. Didn't last long, no damage, but we do have some heavy downpours, and that's going to be the biggest reason we are going into first alert weather mode for today is because of the excessive rainfall that we're seeing, and that could potentially lead to some flash flooding. So right now, north of I-80, we do have some heavy downpours just north of Newcastle. We did have some heavier downpours into Uniontown, but that excessive rainfall outlook for today, this is, I think, the third time it's been updated. Just earlier, it was staying south of I-80, but now with that heavy rain that we're seeing at the moment, that has been extended further northward for today. So pretty much everyone going to see the chance for heavy downpours. Right now, we're only in the low 60s, so it is cooler and below average, but we do have some 70s out there in Waynesburg, 67 in Washington. We're at 65 in Uniontown, 60 Catanning, and 57 right now in Butler, 54, a little bit cooler in Newcastle. So where we have this darker green, that's the heavy rain we're going to see, and that's right around that evening commute, about 5 o'clock until about 8 o'clock, and then we'll see those light showers through overnight. So timing it out for you in future cast. Here's those heavy downpours, that orange, that red. So with those downpours rolling through Pittsburgh at about five, six o'clock, places into Beaver County, Butler County, make sure you're being very careful on the road. Again, this could potentially lead to flash flooding, and then that's going to be out of here by about nine o'clock. So we have that window with that heavy rain around could have some rumbles of thunder, but the biggest threat again is the heavy rain could even have a little bit of some gusty winds, but tomorrow we're looking at another round of some scattered showers. Again, we'll see a little bit of sunshine and that could help to fuel the chance for storms. More so just looking at stray showers and nothing severe, but a rumble of thunder again can't be ruled out. And then again, the chance for rain is there for Saturday where we could even have a few thunderstorms. You can see that counterclockwise rotation, that large area of low pressure circulating through the region. So we are still in this unsettled weather pattern, but it looks to break just in time for Mother's Day. And that's the least chance for rain as we head into Sunday during the day. Even Monday looks great, and then that chance for rain returns again on Tuesday and Wednesday. Another thing we're back to seeing above normal temperatures May 16th through the 22nd. So yeah, cooler than normal right now, but it will get better tonight. 54 degrees rain showers and breezy winds out of the northeast 10 to 15 miles per hour. So looking at our seven day outlook today with heavy rain expected first alert weather day tomorrow, 60 degrees with showers staying right around 60 degrees on Saturday with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorm can't be ruled out, but again, nothing severe expected. Mother's Day staying mostly cloudy and mainly dry. We're back to normal in the upper 60s and then mid 70s partly cloudy on Monday. By Tuesday, we're staying into the low 70s, still above normal, but we do have that chance for rain both Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, Mayor, thanks so much.